Oh boy, oh boy. Dearie me, Cobbers. The day has finally come. It is the night before ATARs are released and I am extremely nervous. I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight just thinking about the results I'm gonna get that is gonna define what I do in my future. Oh no. I'm sure you guys are very nervous as well if you're watching this video. In fact, by the time this video goes up, ATARs will have already been released um, and I will either be a very happy or very sad man. As you can see, I'm actually in Japan right now, in Tokyo to be specific. That is the Tokyo Skytree Tower right there. Um, I've had a good time here. However, uh, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm extremely nervous now because, yeah, my dad organized this holiday um, as a bit of an end of school trip, which I'm very grateful for. I'm thankful for that. Um, but however, it is it has coincided with the ATAR release. Um, yeah, which means uh, I'm just so nervous at the moment. I'm gonna check the ATAR results in the morning. I'm gonna have to get up uh, two hours earlier than you guys because we are two hours behind here in Japan. Um, and yeah, well, I mean, it all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. The whole year of schooling um, comes down to that number that we will get up on our computer screens tomorrow. Now, I will actually tell you a bit of a backstory for myself. Um, as some of my subscribers would know, I've actually done Year 12 before and I actually did an ATAR reaction last year. You can check that out later if you want. Um, but basically, I didn't get the results I was after. Um, there were a few issues that went on in that year, which I won't go into detail about this year. Um, I'm just gonna wait for the Tokyo subway to go past. There she goes. Yeah, uh, long story short, didn't get the result I wanted. So I have repeated year 12 this year. And now you are going to see the results of the hard work I've done this year. Uh, I know I said I studied hard last year, but I studied properly this year. I think I got it wrong in a few parts last year, but this year I've studied properly. And hopefully tomorrow I'm going to reveal a respectable ATAR that um, I can be proud of. As you can see, I'm just drinking some royal milk tea at the moment to calm the nerves that I got from a vending machine. And I just ate some monja miyaki. Um, from a restaurant that was very good, recommend if you ever come to Japan. But yeah, anyway, um, I will send you through to the ATAR reaction now, which will be tomorrow morning. Um, hopefully I'll get my dad in it so you can find out his reaction to my ATAR. Um, yeah, anyway lads, let's get it. Good morning Cobbers. Guess what today is? The day the, the ATAR VCE results are released. The whole year comes down to this. My ATAR, it's in this computer right now. It's online and I'm about to check it out. Sorry, are you still sleeping, Dad? Sorry, um, yeah, no, my, my dad will get up later and he'll check out the ATAR with me as well. But um, just give me a few seconds. We'll boot up the MacBook and we'll see what my ATAR is. Okay, Corbus, I'm now here on the VTAC, VCAR website, whatever it is. Just uh, typed in my student number and student password here, so I'm just gonna log in. Oh, here we go. We're in, okay, okay, okay. So, oh uh, yeah, welcome Mr. Where do we get that? View your VCE study score results or view your ATAR. <sighs> the ATAR is only one click away. Um, I think I'm just gonna go the VCE study score results uh, firstly though, so let me just uh, have a look at that, holy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, let's see what they are. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. Foundation English is seven score. Whoa, um, that's a lot more than I thought. That very good. Uh, I am very proud of myself for getting that. That is very good. Foundation Maths, two plus two. That's uh, that, that's pretty good, I, I think. I'm, I'm not sure how high that is, but that, that is a very good score. Oh, okay, so this, this next one, it was, it was pretty bullshit, to be honest. English as an additional language. So apparently, I can't do that class because English is my first language, but I chose it, and then first class, um, the teacher's just like, no, nah, I'm giving you zero. So uh, I, I think I was kind of stiff on that one, so... Um, 
But yeah, I think I can get away with it if I get some good scores in the other classes. Australian and global politics. Okay, so I actually had a really good relationship with my teacher for this one. I made this video about Scott Morrison shitting himself at Engadine Mackers. And um, yeah, the teacher really liked that one. And yeah, as you can see, score, very big number, big brain. Um, yeah, that's no surprises there. Then the fifth one we have here, uh, Vet Equine Studies. Oh yeah, so <laughs> well, once again, a uh, bit bullshit, but um, yeah, apparently you're not allowed to put racehorses through the blender and sell the meat overseas, like um, sell it for clad glue. But um, I thought you were allowed to do that. I thought it was pretty uh, creative and intelligent, but apparently not. And they've given me an NA. Um, don't know what the difference between that and zero is, but anyway, um, now it's time to finally view my ATAR. I think my dad um, has woken up so he can come look at it too. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to view the ATAR. Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah! Hey son, how's it going? How'd you be doing good in school like? Oh. <sighs> that is shit. What the fuck is that? What? What is this? <laughs> You're the most useless fucking kid oh, in the world. Oh, no one will ever fucking oh, love you. You fucking oh, moron. Look, I have that? paid for your public schooling. I paid 50 fucking dollars for fucking nothing. Two, the number two. Oh my God. You are a fucking shit pet. You are fucking useless. You are nothing. You are pathetic. I hate you so much. You know what? I tried everything to raise you, kid. I fucking beat you up. I fucking killed you up. You, you did nothing. You did absolutely nothing. Well, guess what, Dad? You are pathetic. Uncle sex is way better than your sex. You know what? You know what? Get the fuck back down. You know something? You're not even manly enough to make stinky fucks. They do not stink. They are not loud. You are not a real man until you fight loud and they stink. Oh, I'm sick of raising these fucking kids, man. <sighs> well, yeah, anyway, so um, the wife has a boyfriend around, so I'm going to go check up on him. Anyway, okay. good talking to your son. Oi, babe, is your boyfriend in a foot rub? Uh, that's the end of the video. <laughs>